they live till they're young. Some of them die very young. Perkins had to go right through them. He went up there and demonstrated in Canberra. But if it hadn't have been for the Aboriginal militancy, you wouldn't have the rights, the conditions that they've got to die. If you hadn't had Aboriginal people demonstrating in Kings Park, fighting for their rights. You would, when they stood alone against the race issue, some of them married to white families. Do you condemn them? Love has no barrier. A lot of Aboriginal people married to white. The full blood Aboriginal, as you know it today, the Indigenous comes from Barnum land. <laughs> then you've got the Torres Strait Islanders, the top of Australia. And then if I don't know the history of Australia, then I shouldn't be bloody coming here on a Sunday afternoon demonstrating for what I know of is just. And I'm not of Koori descent. But there is such a thing, there's such an issue which has never been addressed, and that is sorry for the genocide which was committed against the Aboriginal community, the children of the sun. That is the statement, that is the issue, and that is what they're under a Labor government, no problem, get it. Because now the time has come for the Indigenous people to stand up and say, we would like the Australian government to say they're sorry. And you know they won't. You know the reason why they won't. It's quite obvious. They don't want to touch it. They want it to fade away. It won't go away. Got no intentions of going away. But the issue on the Wednesday, Wednesday the trades hall, I'll get back to the industrial legislation. The trades hall is 9.30. Unionists from um, Gippsland, Bendigo, Ballarat, are coming here in buses. There'll be no work. Thousands of unionists will march through the streets of Melbourne on Wednesday, believe it or not. That is not a lie. And the 